Hello friends, how are you all? Last week was a celebratory week in the country as the Indian cricket team won the T20 World Cup. And a lot of players were sharing a lot of interesting in, uh, information of what happened on the sidelines. And one thing which captured my attention was uh, Sky's interview, uh, Surya Kumar Yadav. One thing which uh, Sky was actually mentioning was uh, the day before the uh, crucial uh, final match uh, between India and South Africa, uh, during the regular team meeting, Rahul Dravid had actually presented a graphical data and it was the entire team of players starting from the captain to the bench player all of them had actually played 800 international T20 matches all of them combined together and he, all, he did not stop there he also shared very openly that the coach including the coach and the entire support team he asked them how many matches do, do you think we would have played and nobody had an answer and he had told them we had actually played only one single match but the point he was intending to convey was you guys are the right person to take the right call at the uh, important juncture and that is was a message but the moment this particular data and this message was conveyed it actually uh, boosted the team's confidence it seems so nobody knew that we had, they had played so many matches together and they had enough experience if this was happening on one side he also shared another important thing which was last year also the team played well but disappointingly they lost in the final between india and australia and immediately after that drubbing what happened was Rahul Dravid actually offered to resign uh, from the co as a coach of the Indian cricket team. But what happened is Rohit Sharma he actually called Rahul Dravid and told him he needs to stay for some more time. Thankfully, Rohit Sharma made the call and thankfully Rahul Dravid also stayed back. Uh, the team had given a great farewell to uh, Rahul Dravid now. Uh, and the team also gained a lot from uh, Rahul Dravid's experience. Uh, so the point I'm trying to say over here is uh, with all these things, uh, incidents, what I'm trying to intending to convey is number one, modern organizations are also taking a lot of decisions based out of data. Data driven decisions are helping organizations. It helps sports, it helps organizations, it helps businesses. This is point number one. Point number two and uh, what the coach did was fabulous. Uh, today what happens is that a lot of micromanagement is actually happening in uh, organizations. But what Rahul Dravid did was he gave the team complete autonomy. He also gave the team complete responsibility. He believed in the team that they can take the right decisions at the right time. And in case they also need any support, we are there at the uh, sidelines. Um, so he gave complete autonomy to the team, delegated the responsibilities, but also backed the team uh, as a leader. This is very, very crucial because today the biggest friction in organizations is between the manager and the first level employee. Uh, the trust deficit is very less and a lot of friction is brewing continuously in the company uh, where uh, which is stopping the organizations to work in a very harmonious way and that is very very uh, crucial uh, in today's scenario and finally uh, leaders backing each other Rohit Sharma making the call and Rahul Dravid reciprocating in, uh, it uh, the message uh, this needs to be there in every organization uh, leader a, pe a person's backing each other is what we need in these times so what do you think about this incidents? Uh, what is your favorite inspiration uh, from the World Cup? Uh, please do share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.